I believe Dogecoin is my top holding on there at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Dogecoin. Yes, why not? Yeah, yeah, right. It's funny. The price drop, people are blaming Elon. Any any thoughts on that? There are a lot of buyers and sellers out there. It's a global market and he does not control it. Okay. Bitcoin, in my opinion, is a cryptocurrency and several of the Bitcoin maximists started attacking me. Some of those people are extremely small minded and to me they come off as insecure. here at Bitcoin 2021 and I'm here with a very special guest today, Matty. He's the founder and CEO of Quantum Economics. Hey uh, Matty. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good. In terms of the market, because this is your expertise, can we talk a little bit about that, the price of Bitcoin, you know, maybe predictions that what we may see coming up? Yeah, I'm extremely bullish right now. Uh, I mean, just this conference is a great case in point. I mean, there's 50,000 people in the city uh, for a conference that holds 10K. So um, there's obviously a massive interest and a massive uh, movement happening behind the scenes. Um, the fundamentals haven't changed. Uh, the Federal Reserve is still printing money like it's going out of style. Uh, and a lot of that money is flowing into Bitcoin. Right. Do you have any advice for newbies in this space? I mean, I'm a hodler. I've been in this space for a while, but we see these new people coming in that, that you know, they may be freaking out now because Bitcoin was 60,000 above a month or so ago, a few weeks ago, and now it's obviously down. So what, what's your advice to them? Yeah, the markets can be a bit random sometimes on the short term. Uh, crypto assets in general are, are a very high risk investment and they can be quite volatile. So, of course, the, the usual disclaimer is please do not invest more than you can afford to lose. Uh, other than that, you'll want to diversify yourself and, and get involved in as many different projects as you can. Right. I know a topic of conversation at this conference has been, will Bitcoin be banned? What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that's actually going to happen? Well, I do think, like, I have this itching feeling that uh, Joe Biden and Janet Yellen are having some closed door meetings right now, possibly in, in uh, conjunction with the European Central Bank, uh, that they might be cooking something up. Uh, and we saw the colonial pipeline hack, and you know, rather than bl blaming cybersecurity of the colonial pipeline, they're actually blaming crypto for this, which is insane, but it's not gonna stop them necessarily. They're bureaucrats, they might do something to try and legislate. Um, the thing is that you know, if they wanna have any, do anything that's lasting, they also need to get a majority in the Senate. And I do believe that there are strong uh, lobbies uh, within, you know, within the uh, within Congress on both sides of the aisle that would try to block such uh, such legislation. So in that case, I'm very happy. But we know that they can't ban Bitcoin. It's not possible. Right. Yeah. I think that's a message we really need to get across. That's not possible. Yes. Um, are you able to talk a little bit about your portfolio? I mean, you've been in this space for years. Yes. So I'm sure people are curious to know about, you know, your thoughts and. Yes. So um, I, I have a, a large portfolio, very diversified, both on behalf of myself and on private clients. Uh, the public portfolio that I'm holding is on eToro, so anybody can check it out. It's uh, You go on eToro and my name is Mati Greenspan and you can just see what I'm holding. I believe Dogecoin is my top holding on there at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Dogecoin. Yes. Why not? Yeah. yeah right. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any thoughts on this whole Elon Musk situation that, you know, we woke up to on crypto Twitter today, the price drop, people are blaming Elon. Any, any thoughts on that? I don't think it has anything to do with Elon. Like I said, markets are very random, especially in the short term. And uh, I think Elon uh, might enjoy taking a bit of the credit. But uh, honestly, I mean, there are a lot of buyers and sellers out there. It's a global market and he does not control it. Okay. And then we recently, Cointelegraph recently wrote an article about your thoughts on, what was it, the shitcoin? Was it, is that what it was called, the shitcoin? Yeah, so I was at the shitcoin conference okay. yesterday, which was put together by Ken Bozak in 30 days as a response to the Bitcoin conference. Okay. I made the silly mistake on uh, crypto Twitter of referring to this conference as a crypto conference. I was using inclusive language because Bitcoin, in my opinion, is a cryptocurrency. And several of the Bitcoin maximists started attacking me and getting very personal, even some threats, uh, because I, I used that, that term instead. Uh, I think that some of those people are extremely small-minded and to me they come off as insecure. Yeah. yeah, 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 I mean it can be intense, but this, it can be intense, but this space is also very open and inclusive, so exactly. I, I'm they feeling the love Bitcoin. here. Right. They don't own it and, there's, right. and they cannot stop any kind of innovation from happening, so right. let them yap, it doesn't bother me. Yeah.